Spectacular, Silver Stacular, YouTube community. Listen, we have a serious issue right now. There's not just one type of silver out there for us to buy. We have choices. So the issue is, what do you buy? People debate about this all the time, right? They say, um, buy what's cheap. Buy the fancier stuff because it'll be worth more eventually. Uh, buy the government stuff because that has some protection from the government um, and it's more well known, etc., etc. What are you going to do, right? Is there a right or wrong answer? I don't think so. But I would say the best answer is to diversify and buy a little bit of everything. Not just, you know, maybe junk silver, which you see here. Maybe not just that stuff. Maybe not just government stuff. Like, for instance, American Silver Eagles. You know, like this right here. Not just that. Not just Chinese pandas. Not just those. But a little bit of everything. Because then once you diversify, then you can't be wrong because you've done everything. So... I want to give you some quick pros and cons to some of this stuff. And let's start with the government stuff. So here's a couple examples. You have other you know, government-issued coins from different governments, of course, like uh, the Canadian Maple Leafs or the Mexican Libertads, um, you know, things like that. So what should you do? Should you get these? I think you should get some. Absolutely. I've gotten some. And I, I do it because I want to have a little bit of everything and diversify. So here's some pros of this stuff, right? So it's, it's well known. And is it well known as in like you go to the store and like, you know, you go, hey, do you know what this is to everybody in the store? Probably only a couple of people are actually really going to know what you have, you know, that's in that same community that you are. But it is a well-known piece. You know, the American Silver Eagle is quite well known in this community. And the people that know about, you know, investing in silver and whatnot, they will probably know about the American Silver Eagle and the Chinese Silver Pandas and, you know, Canadian Maple Leafs and things like that. Um, man, that sounded loud, didn't it? Sorry. But, <clears throat> so the pro is well-known. And you've got some backing by the government because it is a government-issued, um, or well-minted, excuse me, government-minted uh, coin. And it is a coin. It actually has a dollar amount on there, one dollar, as you can see. So worst case scenario, let's say silver dropped to 25 cents. Oh no, you know, everything else is going to be worth only a quarter if I had, you know, maybe a bullion this, this big. But this one right here would always be worth one dollar. So yay, that's cool, right? That is a plus, I suppose. It's got some backing. Now the con is, you're going to be paying a little extra for these. And I mean like... Sometimes you can get it for $2 over spot, sometimes $3, and sometimes even more. It just all depends on, you know, supply and demand for these things, where you're getting them from, whatnot. Now, a lot of times when you do sell these, when it's that time, you want to, you know, you know make some profit on what you've, you've bought or you, you know, are in hard times and you need to, you need to sell them. You can get a little bit um, of that premium that you originally paid back, sometimes, depending on where you go, of course. So, like, people will say, like, oh, I do pay an extra dollar for uh, American Silver Eagles. So, again, yay, that's cool. So, boom, that's an option, right? Government issued, or excuse me, why am I, why am I saying issued? I guess it's issued by the government, but government minted um, coins. So, and the, that's, that's basically what I have here, too. This is all junk silver. This is also an option, but let's not talk about that so much right now. Let's just not, right? Let's just forget about it. So now, let's talk about... Um, bullion and let's talk about name brand right so Johnson Matthew that's an example of a name brand it is a um, I would call it a, a better name brand it's like you know like a Nike or something like that you know people know what that one is that's in this community uh, versus a generic okay there's no name brand here it has a pretty little picture of an American Silver Eagle it tells you that it's one troy ounce of silver and it's made in the USA but beyond that it doesn't really tell you a whole lot this is just a generic, generic piece right here. Um, now this is much cheaper. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat. This was like 49 cents over spot price for this piece right here. So, you know, dirt cheap. That's, that's the pro to getting the generic stuff. 
is you're paying sometimes even spot price the very minimum you can possibly pay um, you can get this stuff for whereas the Johnson Matthew bars it does demand a little bit of a premium you're gonna be paying a dollar or two or sometimes more um, per you know troy ounce over the spot price for the name brand stuff but again name brand people go oh hey that's a Johnson Matthew bar boom I know I can sell that quick man people want people want that I mean I bought it you know I bought it pretty fast from somebody so um, I liked it but I like this too because it was cheap so different options right again the silver that's in a Johnson Matthew you know name brand bar is no different than this generic silver right here you melt them both down they're both going to be one ounce of silver there's no difference it's not like a designer silver or anything like that so you know again some pros and cons um, you want to add some quick silver to the stack for dirt cheap boom generic you want to go ahead and get something that should be a little tiny easier to sell I mean you go to any coin shop or pawn shop or anybody that knows about silver coinage you know we buy gold and silver places whatever it is um, they're gonna buy either one no problem I don't think that they're going to pay you very much more if anything over the spot price just because this one right here says Johnson Matthew maybe maybe it's easier for them to sell I don't know um, I have not experienced that personally I've been they've offered me one price for whether it's generic or not you know where I go so <clears throat> maybe where you go it's different it's you know shops are different who knows anyways so um, but like maybe you know I don't know your neighbor who's not who doesn't have all the the testing materials and the you know the little electronic gimmick that you put the bars on and it tells whether or not they're they're silver or not maybe they don't have all that stuff so this right here might make them more confident in buying from you if you have a name brand bar as opposed to some generic bar like this so pros and cons pros and cons let's take those out of there um, and just for fun here's like an example of like a generic round so again there's there's all kinds of this generic stuff out there this was given to me not given to me but bought, uh, sold to me for spot price so um, as cheap as you can possibly get it I, I got this so that's that's a, a big time pro to the generic generic stuff excuse me generic so now let's talk about this real quick so now not this one in particular but bars, rounds, um, statues, this all falls into this art category, okay? And when we talk about premiums over spot, the sky is the limit for this stuff. It can go crazy high. I mean, look at some of those biblical series that are out there if you want to go, go nuts. And you're talking about $100 plus over spot for the premium. Whoa. Whoa. You know, you're definitely not wanting to melt those anytime soon and get, you know, just your silver value out of it. You've reached uh, a whole new type of collection, which is artistic stuff. So now you may be instantly thinking like, yeah, whew, you, you just totally convinced me to not get that stuff based on what you just said. But let me talk about this one. Um, this is a two ounce elemental privateer round. When I first bought this, um, it was around... I think, I think the premium was like five dollars over spot per ounce so maybe like ten dollars over spot so um, around forty to fifty dollars is what this costed me for one round right and you're thinking whoa and of course silver was a little higher than when I bought it too it's probably like seventeen eighteen dollars um, uh, an ounce so whoa right instant instant red flags whoa you paid ten dollars over spot for two ounces of silver craziness right well pretty quickly after I bought this the price of it because it's artistic and it was somewhat low mintage people started going wow that's really cool I want to have them uh, you know demand uh, started increasing supply started dwindling and the price shot up and in several places they were being sold for ninety to a hundred dollars so you know that's something that can happen with the artistic stuff is the there's a collector factor in that and the price can go up so you know and that can also happen with other things too generally it won't happen with generic rounds but some years of the American Silver Eagles demands a higher price the pandas are somewhat known for you know increasing price almost year after year um, you know for for those so some of that stuff can increase in value 
that's a factor that could be, you know, that could help you make a determination on what you want to buy. <sighs> like I said, there's so many choices out there, and, you know, people are going to tell you silver is silver is silver. That's, cr that's great. Those people have a um, objective in what they do and how they stack, and that's what they're going to do, and more power to them, right? Uh, some people say, I only collect American Silver Eagles. That's all I have, is I have a whole boatload of American Silver Eagles. I won't do anything else because there's no reason to, blah, blah, blah. That's great. That's their, that's their life journey. Cool. Um, like I said to you guys, I would recommend diversifying. Get a little bit of everything, and then you can't be wrong. That's where I'm, you know, doing my, my thing here. Is I get a little bit of everything. I do do a lot of this stuff right here that I'm showing you right here, the junk silver. I think it's a, a great, great uh, investment and it has many different outs. You know, it's silver, it's a coin, um, it's history. It's it's just so many things in one little, one little tight little package. So, but I mainly want to focus on the generic versus the name brand stuff. So I think I did that. Hopefully it kind of like, you know, makes you think a little bit about what you should do. And again, I would recommend getting a little bit of everything. Um, you know, have a collection out of this stuff. You know, make, make, it, uh, make it fun for yourself. Buy what you like. And generally, if you like it, you're not special, no offense. Somebody else out there likes it too. So maybe that means the price will go up eventually. Anyways, um, please rate, comment, subscribe. If you haven't, uh, I always appreciate it. Spectacular is now out.